Okay, here's a look at it after all the cabinets were pulled out. And before we, way before we get started, it's November here. Pretty scary looking back at it, especially now. But this is what it looked like. And, ugh. Okay, here's a look. Mm, this was getting close to the end. And things were getting painted and organized. But, uh, yeah. Okay, getting really close. The countertops are on. And, um, yeah, let's have a look on how it really looks. Coming up. I just had to do a close-up on this faucet. I am so in love with this faucet. I cannot even tell you. What do you think? Hey guys, I have been meaning to do this video for a while and you have obviously seen the, <laughs> uh, the way the kitchen looked before we came to this and we love it so much. Um, if you're watching this years from now, we are in the midst of the COVID-19 um, pandemic and I wanted to do something positive that made me feel good today, and that was to show you guys the beautiful kitchen that we were blessed to have because two months ago, we had no kitchen. And if this had happened then, I can't even imagine how we would have survived. So um, we had found this really great hutch on Pinterest. My daughter, Savannah, actually sent me a picture of it, and I was like, Oh, that's high dollar cabinetry. We could never afford that. And she said, Mom, it's a hutch. So I immediately went on Facebook Marketplace, found almost the identical hutch. I mean, literally almost identical. And this is what, what happened. So here is the upper part of the hutch. And there was no bottom here. This this actually sat right on the bottom hutch, um, but we separated it and we put this bottom piece on so that we would have these little, uh, these little cubbies and it was already, you know, had the lighting in it. It's beautiful, rounded, rounded glass and the um the etching it's just gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous um i would probably actually prefer solid glass but that's the way it was and um here's the bottom very beautiful um now all our cabinets were brown and the hutch was brown so we did uh paint them all green my husband sprayed all the cabinets and i brushed um the hutch you know, hand brushed it. Um, this is a, um, what do they call this? A quartz. And it was supposed to have a lot more of the gray veining in it. Um, but it's more white. Uh, but they said, you know, you just end up kind of with, with what you get. They can't, you know, anyway. Um, so, I, we had had um, a tile backsplash, and I really wanted to bring out a farmhouse look to this. So we opted with this um, wood. Um, it's the kind that kind of snaps together. And we it came with the gray already on it. And then I took several different colors of stain and stained it in the different colors. So you can really tell back here behind the stove. So Honey um, applied all of that. I did the staining. Then we had a cabinet up here that had doors and we never used it. So I asked the cabinet guy who did all the install um, if he could just make that open. So. That's what I've got up there. And this is the whole kitchen. Um, we didn't have an island before. Uh, we actually had a U-shaped kitchen. Um, so we totally, you know, it's a different footprint now. And we have the beautiful island. Um, we picked up the chairs at our local um, furniture store. 
I think they're about $75 a piece. And um, my husband put in, my husband, honey, put in electrical into the island. And then we have all of this um, storage under here. So there you go. I hope you guys will give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think of the finished project and the process. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, and we'll be back with more videos real soon. Thanks for watching.